Well, hello out there, all my DIY artsy crafty friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Dee, the Messy Perfectionist. And on this channel, I share my love and learning for all things DIY artsy crafty. And today I am sharing another unboxing, reveal, review, full swatch, and then the results of these Shuttle Art Professional Artist Quality colored pencils in a project. This is the 180 color count. I apologize in advance for all of the glare from the ring light. I kind of positioned it a little different this time for this video. And um, yeah, I don't think I will be doing it that way again. So sorry about that and all the glare. I hope you can get enough of the information here. Um, as we're going along, I tried to kind of zoom in on, on certain areas in case you want to freeze the video and read about these pencils before I go ahead and start opening them up here. So a little bit about why I purchased these pencils. When I first started doing adult coloring, I had an old set of shuttle art pencils, which were really not fantastic. They, but I didn't know any better until I really started learning more about layering pencils and such, and just getting more into adult coloring in general. And I will, show some comparisons later on in the video so you can see the difference um, in a project that was done with the original shuttle art pencils that I bought many moons ago versus these shuttle art professional grade pencils. They got recommended on my feed because I'm always looking for <laughs> different colored pencils. If you guys watched my uh, one of my last uploads for the Artisto pencil review, you know that I'm always on that quest. And uh, if you're interested to see how those pencils perform, I'll go ahead and link the name card up above. But I figured what's the worst that can happen? I will check these out. So as you can see here, I've just been opening up the box and uh, you can see the contents within. It came with those four pencil sharpeners and this very large swatch sheet uh, for you to use. At this point, this was all very familiar. I recognized the swatch sheet. I recognized the names. Um, the pencils do look different where these have like a little cap on top. You can see the little silver line and the original pencils did not. They just looked like your typical kind of like Crayola pencils, just the same all the way through. So uh, the first thing I did was kind of just, you know, shift these around a little bit so that I could read them, but I am impatient. <laughs> Wanted to just try testing this one out right here just to see. And also show you guys on camera me using one of the pencil sharpeners that came with it so you could see how that would perform and I would say it was uh, it was okay I, I have to tell you I've used it a few times since and not been that impressed with it I have better sharpeners so um, these can be saved for emergencies but probably would not be my recommended method personally and now I'm just going to go ahead and start the swatching and I will um, do this very sped up so you guys don't have to sit through two hours of me swatching out. As is usual when I am swatching out pencils, I divide the square in half um, with it being light on top and uh, heavier shading on the bottom so a few more layers. And I have to say my first impression was pretty good. I was not applying a lot of pressure as I was swatching these pencils and I thought the coverage was pretty nice as I was going through. So a good first impression with these you know few pencils as I was going through. Are they Prismacolor soft? No. Are they Black Widow firm? No. So I felt like these were a good in-between if that makes sense. Um, and as you can see here, there's not a lot of white tooth that you can see on the paper with the layers, you know, it, there's not a lot of negative space there. So I thought they layered really well and were not scratchy like my, my other ones. The one thing I did notice was that there was breaking of the cores. So a few of these pencils as I was sharpening them, and I sharpened them all before I started swatching them, I was noticing that some of these pencils were just getting eaten away. So I don't know 
if this is ne necessarily going to save you money in the end if you are considering getting an, a more expensive set because yes this is 180 pencils for around 35 or 38 dollars but if they're you know getting eaten super fast and the, the pencils are getting used up it's not like you can buy this set uh, or this brand in open stock like you can with say Black Widow and Prismacolor pencils and you know the other higher end uh, pencil brands and now we're done swatching out this card so I'll go ahead and do a slower pan so you can kind of see it in its entirety not exactly perfectly organized in the way that maybe I would like it or that you would like it but general color families and easy enough to find in that sense so the first project that I worked on with these pencils was a page out of Rooms of Wonder by Johanna Basford. I really wanted to give these shuttle art pencils a good go in books that I use. So I picked a page out of one of Johanna Basford's and then I did a page you'll see in a minute here out of one of Kirby Rosanis's books. And I'll show you kind of the comparisons there. But my first impression with using these in this book here, I was liking it. I thought they laid down really well. They blended smoothly. I didn't have to use a lot of pressure to get the uh, blends that I was trying to go for. And I continued on with this just using those pencils. So that's also what I used to create the kind of purple background. And then just went in with a little bit of white gel pen. I had a few accents here and there. And you'll get a better look at all of these once I film my uh, November monthly completed pages. So stay tuned for that if you want to see all of my projects. I do continue on and do a whole page out of Kirby Rosanis's books. And I was very impressed with how this page came out. And this is all just using those Shuttle Art Professional pencils. You do have to work on more than Prismacolor to get a blend, not gonna lie. You are going to have to do more layers and lay it down a little bit more to kind of get that, um, you know, blend as well as a Prismacolor say, but one of the positives was I did not get Wax Bloom. Wax Bloom doesn't bother me terribly. Sometimes it can. I'm working on a project right now where it's just driving me absolutely insane following a color along and there are just way more colors used than I'm used to. Uh, so I'm ending up with a lot more wax bloom. I'm sure it's just my technique, but you could see from that paper towel how much pigment has come off when I try to go ahead and remove that wax bloom. And also you can see as I'm pointing to these areas how that kind of wax bloom spread. Now you can take an eraser to that and go over it. I didn't worry about it too much because I knew that those um, hydras were going to be the same color as the body. But I just wanted to show you the comparison of different types of those pencils in case you are new to this or not sure what the difference really is um, using the same paper you know pages from the same artist so it's the same exact quality with the different pencil brand types and now for one last comparison as promised i want to show you guys what the original shuttle art pencils look like in one of these books and this is a page that i completed out of daydreams by hannah carlson when i first started coloring this year and was just starting to get into it and i was using the pencils that i had so i used my original shuttle art set and you can see here how different the blending came out as you can see there is a lot of white in the page um, even though there's multiple colors of layer in some areas, you can still see that kind of page underneath. I would have had to go in and burnish this with a colorless blender or blend it out with my mineral spirits to remove that. And these pencils, like I said before, they took a lot of pressure to use. They also had a ton of breakage. I was constantly having to sharpen them and it was just becoming um, more and more frustrating to use them and so that's when I started researching hey what are good pencils to use in adult coloring and of course came across Prismacolor Premier pencils and of course that is what started all of this um, but I just want to show you one more set of pages this was my very first coloring book that also started it all 
So there are many pages that I used my original shuttle art pencils in, and I did not know how to layer at all at this point. You can tell from the pages as we're flipping through, but just to show you uh, for a little bit more comparison. And again, like I said, this is when I very, very first started this year. So um, it's kind of interesting to go back and, and see oh wow, I have improved, which is awesome because I was really proud of these pages when I first did them. And now I'm like, oh, I could do so much better. So I'm hoping in another year, I, you know, learn even more and increase my skills more along the way. I guess we'll have to see as we continue on this channel. But I hope that seeing this comparison between the original shuttle art pencils, and then the new shuttle art pencils that we're talking about in this video versus say a Prismacolor for blending and all those things is helpful to you in some way. If you did find information in this video useful or helpful, please do consider subscribing if you have not yet already. Hit that like button, leave a comment, share all those good things. I know I say it all the time, but it really does help a small channel to grow here on YouTube. And I'm having so much fun creating content for you guys. And I love this whole experience and learning along with you and also sharing my own learning journey with you guys. But with that said, I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day. I hope you have or had a beautiful Thanksgiving celebration, and we will be talking again soon. Stay tuned shortly to see all of my November finished pages. I have done quite a bit, so I'm excited to share everything with you all. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.